This is the SoCal Update. I'm Cara Santa Maria. LAUSD opens its doors to students, marking the start for what's sure to be an unusual school year. It's Tuesday, August 17th. A new school year is underway in the Los Angeles Unified School District. 450,000 students went back to campuses Monday, many of them for the first time since the pandemic began. But there were first-day glitches. Education reporter Kyle Stokes was there. Kyle, why were there long lines of students outside so many campuses? Well, the problem was with LAUSD's health check website called Daily Pass. And just to kind of explain that, this year, LAUSD will not let any student onto campus if they don't have a recent negative COVID-19 test on file. So students confirm they do by visiting Daily Pass to generate a QR code, and then they show that to someone at the entrance. Well, on the first day of school, Daily Pass crashed. So at the school I was visiting, I saw hundreds of students waiting outside, refreshing their phones, waiting for over an hour out outside. Though I do have to say inside, there were a lot of full classrooms, even during first period. So there were students who were able to get in. It's still a frustrating situation. Has LAUSD responded? Have they fixed the issues with the website? Well, LAUSD officials said they immediately contacted the website's vendor, and by this morning, lines were moving faster. It seems like a lot of the kinks have been smoothed out. And actually, LAUSD's interim superintendent tried to spin the frustrations with Daily Pass as a hopeful sign. The website was overwhelmed, she said, because so many families were ready to send their kids back to campuses. Not a given. And she said LAUSD deserves some credit for taking the precautions to convince families that it's safe to return to campuses. Thanks, Kyle. 